Yeah, me tying up my drag. Oh, he got, he got eight instantly. Oh my gosh, he got eight instantly, guys. Oh yes. He got, you set that hook. Oh my God, we got a big snook right now. We set that hook again. There we go. That's what we came here for. That was instant. He's big mad. He's big mad. Oh. All right, buddy, it's another beautiful day in South Florida at the one and only beautiful spillway right here. And as you see, the thing is flowing like there's no tomorrow. Water is kind of dark, kind of low, but it is flowing. Now, once it has that flow, you already know I got to go. So I'm here now. Nobody else is really here but me, so. Oh, look, a fish right there. All right, guys, this is a really good sign right now. I just got here and it's already activity. What I'm actually gonna do right now is catch some bait and just free line a nice cichlid or a bluegill, something of that sort. And I guarantee you there's a big chance we're gonna get hooked up on a monster. I know there's like about 40, 45 inch snook in here, so stay tuned. I'm gonna strap up the GoPro and I'll see you guys when I get hooked up. All right, guys, check this out. We got the bread right here, right? So let's go ahead and catch a, a nice bait. And the right bait is the key to catch these big fish. So hopefully we can catch a nice bait, send them on its way. Fish, I see fish rolling already. Definitely a good sign. All right, so I just caught this nice looking sunfish, but honestly, I feel like they don't work as good as the Mayan cichlids or the bluegill. So I'm not really gonna waste too much time with them. I'm just gonna just release them. And we gotta get the right bait because I've used this before and they're not as strong as the cichlids. So let's just release them. All right, guys. So check this out. Uh, I don't want that, I don't want that. What do we got? Oh my gosh, what the hell? Look how small this bluegill is. Guys, I think we might get hit like instantly right now because I'm seeing another bait that just got smoked right there. He has a big gash mark on him. So I think we're in prime time right now, boys. Stay tuned. Look how nice that beautiful bluegill is right there. That whatever bites this is gonna be absolutely smoked in one bite. So, oh, they're popping right there. Guys, check this out, you ready? Got a nice hook right here. Let's go ahead and send them right on its way. It might be instant, guys. I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling right now because it legit might be instant. That's it right there, boys. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get it. Live bluegill at the spillway. I'm gonna drop it right there. Let's see what happens. Let me check my drag too because he might get smoked almost instantly. Yeah, me tying up my drag. Oh, he got, he got eight instantly. Oh my gosh, he got eight instantly, guys. Oh yes. He got, you set that hook. Oh my God, we got a big snook right now. We set that hook again. There we go. That's what we came here for. That was instant. That was instant. He's big mad. He's big mad. Oh. All right, me set that hook. Right, come on, let me get him out the rocks right there. He's super big mad right now, guys. Oh, I gotta keep him high. He's big, he's probably a 40. I gotta get him out of there. I gotta get him out of there. I gotta get him out of there. He's coming up, he's coming up. Oh, here we go, guys. Oh my God, it's a 40. It's a 40. Oh man, we loosen the drag a tad bit. Super big snook on, guys. Holy shit. Let's get it, boys. Oh, it's a beautiful snook. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know he's hooked well. Let me go for a nice land on him. Oh, is he barely hooked? Oh my gosh, he's barely hooked. Oh my gosh, it just came out. It just came off. Oh, it just came off, guys. I tried to grab him. Oh, damn. Guys, <laughs> that means it was a caught fish. Holy smokes, just barely hooked. You know, 
I put my rod down just for a second and I slipped in the water a tad bit. <laughs> but damn, that was a nice snook. That was about a 40 inch snook right there. Clapped the bluegill. Sheesh, got a good fight out of him. Basically, I see the fish popping up right now, so I know there's a big chance of getting clapped on, like almost instantly. And that's exactly what happened. No hesitation. And wow, what a big snook. I almost grabbed his lip and then I slipped and then, you know, did not want to go for a swim out here in the spillway with a giant snook. Not today. Not in these waters at least. Damn, you guys comment down below. Was that a catch or was that a miss? I mean, I literally got him from point A to point B and I brought him all the way up. I saw that he was kind of barely hooked, so I just tried to go for a quick land. Definitely need to invest on getting a net out here so I can go for an easy scoop. But that was a quality fish right there. Smoked the live bait. Woo, that's what we came out here for, boys. And I wish I would have grabbed him. I almost did. I just tried to open his mouth and he basically backtracked a couple inches. And, you know, I got my iPhone 14 in my pocket. Definitely don't want to drop that in the water. But hey, let's not waste too much time. Let's go ahead and get another bait out there. That was a big snook. Um, comment down below if that was a catch or not. To me, in my books, it was a catch. But no, I almost grabbed him. That's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to grab him. But this is a lot more where that came from. So stay tuned. I'm gonna catch another live bait, send him right back on his way. All right, guys, we got another snook blowing up right here, right in front of me. Let me get a live bait out there. Should be instant again. Uh, yeah, I freaking love this spot, man. This nook candy bait right here, like all day, hiding in these rocks, man. So I got the perfect size bait. It's just my cichlid, so it's a healthy, hearty bait. It has a lot of energy. So I'm just gonna send him right on his way. I'm not even gonna cut, look at, look at the beautiful stripes right there. He's got tiger stripes right there. I'm not even gonna waste no time. I'm not even gonna cut the video, guys. I'm just gonna just keep it rolling, okay? Let's just keep this show rolling right now. Right now, I feel like there's good vibes in the air right now. And we're catching a lot. So, I literally just got here. I just pulled up, you know. And we're already putting in damage. So, let's see. Did he frame me? Did he frame me? Nah, I'm going to rock with it. I'm going to rock with it. I got to set the hook a tad bit harder, though. Because that's the second fish. Got a hook that was slightly, you know. I got to give him the business, honestly. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get it, man. It might be instant right here, guys. Stay tuned. Don't blink. Let's get it right here. You guys ready? I gotta set that hook way harder. Oh yeah, they're in there. I gotta set that hook way harder. That was a monster freaking snook. It's like a 40 inch snook right there that crushed the freaking bait first cast. Yo, this spot is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I count that as a catch. All right, this spot is absolutely phenomenal, man. Like, I haven't been here many times, but every time I've actually been here, I've hooked up on a giant snook. I mean, the spillway is flowing, it's ripping, it's beautiful. There's nobody, oh, I think it's got eat again. Hold on a second, guys. Stay tuned. Stay freaking tuned. Not even playing around with these fish no more. Okay, you know, as I just said, I got the band saw right here. 50 pound braid, 30 pound leader. Um, oh, I think I'm eight, am I eight? I don't know. All right, guys, I'm gonna tighten up my drag right now because I gotta get a, a better hook set than that. I'm gonna throw it right in the flow. Let's see what happens. Ready? Throw it right in the flow. It should be instant, honestly. At this rate. The way today is going. Today's everything's on fire right now. Fucking snug was giant, bro. Yeah. Giant. Damn, this bait's way too big. It's a bait my boy would use, Dakota. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
He had a 40 inch snook hit it out there on a bait this size. A tilapia this size, bro. This one's way too freaking big, bro. God damn. Damn, yo, comment down below if y'all would use that for bait. That's a freaking giant right there. I think this is like a red devil sunfish. And hey, you know what kind of fish this is? That's a tilapia. Spotted tilapia. What the hell? Got some crazy colors on him, bro. Let's go ahead and release him. I already know he's gonna go crazy. Guys, comment down below if y'all would use this thing for bait. This thing's a freaking giant. Damn, they always freaking flop out, bro. Alright, y'all. Finally got a blue girl on the line. Let's see if we can make. See if we can get hit again right here. Check this out. Let's see what's happening. 